There are persistent rumors that Prince Harry wants to return to Britain more often, see his old friends and, most importantly, reconcile with his family. His sudden and unexpected appearance at his uncle Lord Fellows' memorial service has fueled this speculation. He and Prince William were at the back of the church and apparently did not exchange a word. This is a very deep rift as they have not reportedly spoken in some two years. William does not trust his brother and who can blame him. We know that the paperback version of his ill-judged memoir Spare, when released in October, will not contain extra material, although he cut 400 pages from the original. At a time when the King and Catherine are battling cancer, to include more controversial material would have been outrageous. He will also not be giving further interviews to promote it, this is the least he can do. The optics of his last two visits to Britain, when he saw his father once and then briefly, were puzzling. It is bizarre that he regarded a hotel as more secure than Buckingham Palace. He has said that the issue of security is paramount for him, and that Britain is too dangerous for him and his family. However, if he wins at the Court of Appeal on this issue, or if he were to lose but might, nonetheless, be reclassified under the other VIPs section, who are given automatic police protection, his attitude might well change. The king has been seeking religious guidance on how to heal the rift with his younger son. He has always indicated that his door is open to reconciliation. However, if an olive branch was extended by the king and accepted by Harry, there would be strong reservations from William who is said not to want his brother at his coronation and deeply resents the way he has harmed the royal family. Catherine, the target of unkind allegations by the Sussexes, is certain to agree. This is a barrier Harry is unlikely to be able to circumnavigate. The Sussexes know their entire appeal rests on their royal connections, including their $100 million contract with Netflix, which expires next year. Yet they know these will always be described as quasi-royal visits. Meghan's lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard is no substitute for a real royal patronage. Yet could Harry, if things changed, resume some sort of a royal role? We know how he values his military links and a gesture by King Charles in this area would undoubtedly go down well. Also the king would be able to see his grandchildren, Archie and Lily. In theory this might open the door to the possibility of them using their titles and even participating in royal events in future years. It is also clear that if they ever took up any royal duties, there would be a no-holds-barred war with the press whenever they appeared. Harry recently indicated that the royal family's handling of relations with the press was a major factor in the rift. If they did return, they would be forced to boost the monarchy and the Commonwealth and, this time, stick to the script. They would almost certainly be unable to promote commercial ventures at the same time. Currently Meghan's interviews, when they are meant to promote goodwill, ring rather hollow as she is estranged from almost all her family. Harry would undoubtedly value support from senior royals when the Invictus Games are held in Birmingham, in 2027. He would still be popular in the Commonwealth and the 18 to 24 year group, currently disillusioned with the monarchy, might warm to it more if the Sussexes took part. Most supporters of the monarchy would be appalled at the prospect of the Sussexes appearing at Trooping the Color or at Christmas. Their presence would surely detract from the serious work the royal family does throughout the year, too. The main problem with any comeback, if it hypothetically could be arranged, is obviously Meghan. Her home is in California. She is detested in Britain where she currently has a negative rating of 37% according to a YouGov poll in August. She seeks prestige and global reach, and is absolutely ruthless about getting it. She has however, been consistent in her support for issues such as gender and racial equality and online abuse. Yet how could the royal family trust her if, unlikely as it seems, she wanted to make a comeback of some sort. She also might have problems in finding staff, given her reputation, which she denies, of being impossible to work for.
the monarchy must have dignity and avoid being part of the celebrity culture we are so obsessed with. It is, of course, pivotal that the brothers, in time, reconcile. King Charles must ensure they are both kept from royal duties permanently.